Well, community developmental screening is coming up, and it's a really important event for young children and their parents or guardians. Joining us today to tell us more about it to my immediate left, she's the Director of Early Intervention at Allen County Board of Developmental Disabilities, Rachel Staley, and she's the Assistant Dean of Health Sciences and Public Service, Road State College, and Bess. And thank yes. you both for coming today. Thank you for having thank us. You. Okay, so uh, Rachel, you guys try with the board to hold these events a couple times a year, right? And it's in different locations. This time we're heading downtown to Rhodes in the Boris Center, right? Yes, we, are, we hold them twice a year. And the goal is just to make sure that children are developing happy, that they are healthy, and that they're on track and ready to learn, by the, especially by the time, at the earliest possible time, but especially before they start kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And it, you start early. It's, it's zero to five years old, Correct. right? Absolutely, yes, birth to five. So if parents are concerned about their child's development, uh, a phrase we say a lot is don't worry, but don't wait. And if there's a concern or if there isn't a concern, if they want to make sure that their child is developing on track, this is a night where they can come and they can talk to professionals. And if there is a concern, we're going to connect them to the services and supports in our area. Well, I think sometimes as a parent or guardian, you don't realize what you're supposed to be looking for or, e or even right. know, right? And so just bring them to the screening and know that you can check it out and see what's absolutely, up. Absolutely, absolutely. Even if we have a uh, vision specialist that'll be there for the, that they can get their vision checked. We also have the audiologist from Mercy Health and Lima Memorial that'll be there. That'll be screening to make sure that there's no concerns for fluid, which can impede their hearing, which can cause their speech to be delayed. So there's so many factors that can compound other issues that this is a night that they can come and they can um, have some peace of mind or if they're like I said if there is a concern that we will happily connect them to um, the resources in our community. Mm -hmm. And Anne, you guys have a good partnership here. Oh, I mean excellent. it's held at the Bora Center which is a perfect spot for that yes. but your students are also involved so tell right. us how it, it helps out you guys with your this this piece of the screening. It does it does and we love partnering because we are right down on you know the square in Lima eight Town Square is our address. We've got great parking right behind the Boris Center. Um, some people don't realize we have that big parking lot. Um, and there'll be people right at the entrances welcoming and, and directing the participants. But we love it because our, our students get to be a part of it. And there's nothing like active learning. Working with the professionals to help them that day, but also then learning to connect with our community members and how to serve the community. Right, yeah, because you know there's only so much you can learn in the textbook, right. but for the kids to be up with the with the um, the students and the kids yes. together, I mean that must be really great. Excellent do you hear learning. great things from the students? Excellent learning. The students absolutely love it, and they do. They really do learn how to communicate with with kids in a way that they don't get to from the classroom. Mm -hmm. And as you said, the professionals are there too, so for them yeah. to be able to work yep. with that that must yeah, be neat they're excellent yes yeah but lots of good parking behind the building on the streets around we've got the civic center parking so and we will be reserving parking that day in our parking lot for the participants so okay. tell them park the entrances on the side right there by the parking lot and then there's an entrance on main street We'll have people directing, so please, please come. Right, yeah, because sometimes you're really worried about lugging your kids Absolutely. around and stuff in the car seat, yes. seats and everything, so yes. you guys are making it as easy as possible. And uh, Rachel, you mentioned, you know, there's so many different areas that are going to be tested. So do you need to go through all of them, or can you just hit certain ones that maybe you think are, are issues? It's really up to the parents. So if they are concerned with one specific area, they can go to that one specific area. But they can stop and see any station that they are interested in. Um, and if they're not concerned, or if they're already connected, if their child is already receiving a therapy, they don't need to go and go to that station. They could come specifically if they want a hearing checker to have their vision checked. We do have a dentist that will be there as well. So if they want to have um, a dentist look um, and do some of that pre-screening, they can do that as well. All right. It's 4 to 7 o'clock on October 22nd right there at the Bora Center. And... Uh Registration ends at 6, right? So get there before, yes. you know, by yep. 6 o'clock. We have volunteers, so we always want to be respectful of their time. Registration does end at 6. The event is from 4 to 7. All right, very good. Thank you, ladies, Thank for coming you. today. Thanks Great for stuff. Us. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.